Let's see how to set up Slack notifications in Jenkins. We need to install a Slack notification plugin in Jenkins first and we need to use that plugin as part of Jenkins pipeline job to send notifications. Let's first install Jenkins plugin. Click manage Jenkins. Manage plugins. Select available. Search for Slack. So this is a plugin we are interested in. Using this Slack notification plugin, we can send notifications to Slack for certain events in Jenkins pipeline jobs or even we can use this for Jenkins freestyle jobs. Select this. Click install without restart. The plugin is installed successfully. Let's get back to syntax generator. I want to refresh this page. I want to reload this page because after installing that Slack notification plugin, that has to appear in this case. So can you see the Slack send, send Slack messages. Using this, we can send Slack notifications part of Jenkins pipeline jobs. Select this. So message. Let's put some dummy message here. So color, you can put any color. Uh, you can check help here. You can say good warning danger. Based on these words, if you say good, probably the message appears in green. And click advanced. We need to have a Slack channel. So before filling all these details, let me show my Slack channel. First, let's create a channel. Channel is kind of a group using which we can communicate with multiple users. Let's name this channel as Jenkins Pipeline Demo. Purpose is optional. And now I'm not sending any invites because this particular demo doesn't require any invites here. Create a channel. See, once the channel is created, from my Jenkins Pipeline job, I want to send Slack notifications to this channel. For that, right, we need to get certain information by clicking add an app. So from the search field, right, we need to search for webhooks. Using incoming webhooks, we can send data into Slack in real time. This information I need, let's select this. Then click this edit symbol. If you scroll down, this is the webhook URL using which we can send email notifications from any application. Under webhook URL, this is called as authentication token. Anybody having this token can send Slack notifications from any application. We have to maintain this token securely. We should not expose this token to anybody else. Come back to Jenkins configuration. So channel. We are using Jenkins pipeline demo. So integration token. So what I want to do is I want to create a new Jenkins credentials here. And the kind is a secret text. So I need to copy that secret, which is my integration token. Give some ID and description and add this one. So let's copy this integration token. Let's paste it here. Let me call this one as Slack demo. Description, I'm leaving it empty and add it. See now no one can see this integration token because it's not directly exposed as a plain text. So select Slack demo now. I need to put the team domain, which is Java home cloud and the base URL. If you come back to this one, this is going to be the base URL. Copy that and keep it here. So we have filled the message, the color, the channel, the integration token, which is used for authenticating to my Slack workspace and the team domain name, which is Java Home Cloud in my case, the base URL and generate pipeline script for this one. Take this and update Jenkins file with this information. 
let's edit this Jenkins file. Add one more stage here. Let's call this one as Slack notification and paste the code which is generated by syntax generator. So you can break this complete single line into multiple lines as well, like this. And commit the changes. Come back to Jenkins pipeline job, open this one, click build now. Let's open the console and see the output. It's sending an email notification. It also sent a Slack notification. You can check that inside your channel. Let's see this one. It says welcome to Jenkins Slack. So this is how we integrate Jenkins pipeline jobs with Slack notifications.